Today I'm going to be taking a look at Pink Miracle Shoe Cleaner. They have a ton of positive reviews on Amazon and they sent me the product to review so I'm going to be taking a look at it. I'm going to be cleaning my shoes with it so you'll be able to see by the end of this video how they turned out. If it's good, if it's bad, you'll be able to know by the end of this video so let's get into it. They sent me two different packages. I don't know what the difference between them are. We're about to find out. I don't know what you'd call it. Formula. Let me call it formula. Or call it by what it is. Water, sodium, C1016, albicines and ivofulfate, si sodium. I can't pronounce half these anyways. It's made in the US though, which is great. I love home-based products. Comes with a little brush. Look at this thing. This thing oh! Pink Miracle. <laughs> Very nice. The instructions are on the back. What do they say? Thoroughly wet your scrub brush. Then apply a small amount of Pink Miracle to brush. Scrub shoes, then wipe clean with a towel. So I'll need to go get some of that stuff. Ooh, I don't know what the difference between these are. Ingredients, directions, thoroughly, thoroughly ingredients. They're the same product. Ooh, this one says new design, same formula. So the formula is the same. They maybe just redesigned their brush. So maybe that's what the difference is between them. Contains a gentle, non-abrasive cleaning agents. That's great. It's good to clean and conditions all leather, vinyl, and suede sports shoes. They feel roughly the same. They're kind of coarse. This one comes with Peak Miracle. I kind of like that they have their name on this one. <laughs> cool. Alright, let's put him to the test. I know I'm lucky man, but I don't feel lucky man. Why can't I feel what I know? Still ain't got what All right, we got three pairs of shoes. We got this pair. I don't know what kind of material this is. Kind of like a leathery pair. They're pretty beat up, as you can see. Then I have my running pair of shoes, which these are in better shape, but the soles of these things are supposed to be white and they're turning like yellow almost. So. We're gonna see if the soles on these things shine up a little nicer. And then we got my nothing new pair, which are kind of like Converse, but I don't know what happened to this, but there's like yellow on this shoe. I really highly doubt this will be able to get it out. Um, but this is a different material as well. It's almost like a canvasy material, uh, but the bottom is rubber. So we'll see if I can clean the bottoms up. These ones aren't that dirty. The toes are a little scuffed up on them. So three totally different kinds of shoes that I'm gonna be testing this on and we'll see how it does. Let's start with just the simple, these ones. They're really wet in this bad boy, I guess. I'm gonna leave one shoe set aside so that you can see kind of a comparison. This is gonna be my control one. This will be my test shoe. Good. Look at that. My hand is covered in this. It really doesn't have a strong scent, so that's kind of nice. It's not like overbearing or nothing fruity. I can't even tell what it smells like. Uh, like a car wash maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like a subtle car wash. I really didn't spend that much time cleaning these. I did give it a good scrub and that's the difference. So in my opinion, they did pretty good with this shoe. It cleaned up the sides pretty good, but I don't know how well it will do if I tried to scrub the bottoms to get this grass stain color out. That'll probably take a lot more effort and a lot more work. But as far as just a nice little cleanup on the sides, seem to be working pretty well. Nice. Test two, what I wanna do is give these a little shine up. Now these don't need a whole lot of loving. These are pretty good as is. They come with a few little scuff marks in them and like the toe is kind of dirty like that. But these shoes aren't that bad. I'm gonna try this other bristle though and see how it works, see which one I prefer. I'm just shining up the toe real quick and then I wanna try to scrub on this yellow spot to see if it'll come out, but. Even just this quick clean like that work nice on the rubber parts. Not bad. Let me try getting this yellow stain. Maybe it was like a dandelion patch. I have no idea how they would get yellow. As far as what brush I like better, they're pretty similar in my opinion. They scrub the shoe. This one, the bristles kind of stay together more. You can see that they're kind of like squeezed in. I think that's partly because of the packaging, how they got packaged. It was supposed to be in a straight line, but they both seem good. Oh, that's a big difference actually. Now that I said them like that. Not for this one. 
These shoes are pretty dirty. I'm going to wipe this down first with the rag because I don't want all this mud and stuff. So let me do that at least. Already much better just by wiping it down. Okay, that's just with a quick wipe down. So they're still almost like pretty stained actually. <laughs> These ones are my most beat up pair of shoes. So we're gonna see how well they clean up. I should, if I was doing an actual cleaning of these shoes, I would take the laces out first and then clean the shoe, clean the laces separately and then put the laces back in once everything dried. But I'm not gonna do that for this video. I'm just gonna clean them as is and we're gonna see how it goes, so. To me, this material I think will clean up a little bit easier than like canvas. Um, that like to me stains or something, but this, has the ability of getting back to its normal shoe color and that's what I'm hoping for. I know I'm oh, you're I cleaning up feel great. It. The heel of the shoe is the weirdest to clean. It feels like awkward and I'm making a mess. Woo! So this, obviously, I wear these shoes all the time. The shoe itself is starting to fall apart now and everything. Um, the laces obviously need a good cleaning, but as far as using this product to clean the outside of the shoe, I think it turned out really good. I'm gonna get some B-roll of them so you can see the before and after is a little bit clearer because I don't know if my camera's out of focus or not, but these turned out really well. So let me just do my review of them. Let me look at them myself. Starting off with my running shoe. It actually did a pretty good job, even on the dark faded spots um, that were covered in brown. The hard thing to me is the grass stain, but I think if I spent more time on it, I think I could actually start to get some of that grass stain out of there. Overall, they, the shoe looks a lot cleaner. Even the toe, the canvas part, turned out really good on this. It even cleaned it up some, uh, where this one is still kind of dirty. So not only did it clean the rubber sole around here, it also cleaned up the toe, which is kind of like a cloth material. So it did a good job with that. I think it did a decent job with this pair. Really pleased with it. As far as these shoes go, there wasn't a whole lot to get clean on them. <laughs> they were already pretty clean to begin with. The one thing that I would say is that on the actual canvas material, I don't think I would use this for it just because I don't feel like it really brightens it up or makes it a lot of whiter. A lot of times on this canvas looking material, I feel like it might actually embed the dirt into it. So I would use it on the rubber soles and everything like that. But if I got mud and stuff on the canvas material, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I just have to keep scrubbing it and let it dry. Uh, maybe it already had dirt on it. That's why uh, it's looking a little like faded. Do you see that? And then as far as these shoes go, this was the most remarkable change in my opinion. These shoes cleaned up really nicely. I don't know what material this is. It kind of feels like a leather material. Maybe it's a fake leather. I don't know. These cleaned up really good. I've worn them for multiple years without ever cleaning them and I'm wish I would have cleaned them sooner <laughs> because they look pretty dang new. They look nice. I think if I swapped out the laces, I think these would look like brand new shoes again. So overall, big miracle. I'm pretty pleased with it. <laughs> It's nice. I don't like overpowering smells, so I like this has a subtle like car wash smell. The brushes are small, so maybe your hand might cramp up if you're using it for a while. But other than that, if you're interested in the product, I'll put a link in the description below for you to check them out and I'll catch you on another one.